So thank you for inviting us here to your atelier today. Uh, I see there's a lot of work going on here. Can you tell me what's happening? We are preparing the next collection of uh, jewelry and clothes for the winter. And uh, so we are doing the prototypes. So that's why we are so busy. So tell me, what kind of uh, jewelry are you creating here? Uh, we're creating uh, very dramatic pieces, you know, I mean big earrings, necklaces with uh, very very special feather, fur, crystal, very special beads, very dark and mysterious pieces. And you also showed me some glass beads that you're going to put some uh, pictures behind and some uh, uh, texture, python skin behind? Yeah, we're going to put some uh, some pictures and some also some uh, some writing because I like when you have uh, very precious stones to mix with uh, very, I mean, uh, more special pieces, I mean paper or drawings or not especially precious things. Can you describe your next collection for us, the clothing collection? Uh, the clothing collection, the next one, is a mix between uh, some very feminine pieces and uh, technical materials. I mean, you have sometimes uh, vintage shapes, like uh, very special coats with fur, but always with technical materials, to, because I want this collection to, be, to look uh, urban. Well, you showed me like, one of your coats, which was uh, like, almost like mesh, see-through. Yeah. Sure. So this one is a very, um, how do you say, emblematic piece of the collection. Yeah, very important one because uh, it's uh, the mix between femininity and uh, technical materials. It's mesh with uh, precious fur, imitation of monkey. Important piece also is the jumpsuit because in each collection I uh, always have a jumpsuit because I think it's, uh, it's very modern, it's easy to wear and uh, women like jumpsuits nowadays and uh, this one is uh, also the mix with uh, we find uh, the same materials as the coat you know technical materials with uh, crepe black crepe so I, I like the mix of that two kind of materials can you talk about the dress that i love uh, the dress that you love okay it's a very uh, in appearance it's a very simple dress crepe crepe dress, uh, black, uh, it's a very fluid dress and with pockets because I like pockets, you know, because uh, it's a very special way uh, to move when you have pockets and you can also wear a belt, I mean, uh, maybe you can go to work with the, with the dress very fluid and if you have a dinner later, you have the belt in your bags and some uh, very uh, high heels and you can, uh, you can look uh, more comfortable for a dinner or partying or uh, anyway. Can you describe some of the pieces of jewelry that you showed me, especially with the one like with the python skin and the? Okay, so the pieces of jewelry are uh, because in the usually I used to make more dramatic pieces of clothes. This season it's a little bit more simple, so that's why I decided to to create very special and dramatic accessories, very big earrings, big necklaces with fur, with, with crystal, with a very dark silver. And uh, because uh, when you put it on a very simple piece of clothes or dress or anyone, anyone else, it's very, uh, it's very special. And there's so much uh, impulses here in your atelier. There's so many things going on. Uh, can you describe how it is to work here and uh, and what it's like to work with your team here? Yeah, but to work here is uh, it's really really great because it's a very good place in Paris. You know, it's a very trendy place in Paris, so I like to, to be here. And uh, there are a lot of artists, people uh, from fashion, from uh, painters, a very special. Uh, very special population here and uh, I love to work with my team you know making the prototypes because we have the the same way of uh, of working so it's great because it's important when you have someone to work who works with you that you don't have to explain and explain and explain so with two words it's okay we, we, we know we are in the same uh, same direction and this is very very important so you and your team now you know exactly you're kind of telepathic you know exactly what you're gonna do yeah yeah sometimes yes not at the beginning of the collection, but you know about uh, maybe five or five, six pieces. It's easier and easier because we know exactly what we do and uh, very quickly. So, for example, can you tell me how it works here in your atelier? How it works from this, from uh, how you build things. For example, with the fabrics, how you get them, where you get the jewelry. You know the 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 metals, the little beads, everything. How how, how does it work and how does it all come together? 
Uh, it depends. It depends of the season. It depends of the pieces. Sometimes uh, the beginning is a is a sketch, and usually when it's when when I begin with a sketch, it's easier because I just have to find the, the right fabrics, the right pieces of uh, crystal. Or, but sometimes it's not like this. Sometimes I find the fabric. Uh, I like the fabric and. Then I, I, I imagine the, the pieces after, but uh, what I prefer is to mix very different materials. You know. So what inspires you? This season particularly, it's the it's the night in Paris. That's why I wanted to have a very dark and myter mysterious collection, and especially because it's inspired by uh, Belfegor, the, the ghost from the Louvre. It's a very old story from the okay. 60s with uh, Juliette Greco. Thank you so much for inviting us here today. I can't wait to take a look more around here to see what you've got here. Thanks. Thanks.